The belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. Citations to the whole flow like that there. You are kept to the back. If I do this thing, we have most truth and sincerity. On the free shaman, this week's topic is going to be entitled, You Can Only Censure People for So Long. <clears throat> and with this whole breed of cancel culture uh, growing and growing, all right? And um, cancel culture is expanding. Why? Because more truth is being shed on things. You know, most notably, real people of the Lord are, right? You have notable celebrities coming out to the forefront, uh, such as Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, Apostle Tahar, did a uh, show on Sizzler Kalanji, uh, known he's an Israelite, but of course he's not, he hasn't had a name for the Lord. So, they're trying to suppress the truth, they're trying to suppress, and who's they? They is a, them small heads, the ones that call themselves Jews, the ones that have something to hide, right? Because why, 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 why won't you give people um, the right to come on a platform um, if you call yourself a platform and not a publisher um, to just speak open facts, you know? Let alone their opinions and nothing, just facts. Here's a certain historical documents that show that this people and that people doesn't align with this people and that people. Um, and it's just not, it's not your opinion. This is just what the research and the documents and based on biblical, you know? They have to censor that, you know? And the thing is, the censorship is, is, is spilling over to the point that it's starting to cause blowback, right? Because like Kanye was saying, the fact that they canceled me on everything and shut me down on, on so much things, it's only proven that I'm right, you know? Um, all the media outlets, all these different things go back to uh, are being run by a particular group of, of people, all right? And we were the ones experiencing it first, Apostles and elders um, in the early stages of YouTube of uh, videos being banned, channels being deleted. Now, of course, our videos aren't monetized or nothing like that because the scriptures tell you um, freely is, you know, you should give freely as you have received, right? And the scriptures speak about buying milk and honey and wine with no milk in the book of Isaiah. Um, buying milk, honey, and wine and um, with no money. As it says in the book of Isaiah, I believe the 51st chapter, all right, which it goes into this truth. You're not supposed to be selling this truth. You're not supposed to be um, levering this truth for financial gains, you know. And, then, and that's another kind of, that's another um, rebuke on the I, IUIC. Brothers recently posted that um, they want donations um, to help reverse Miriam's curse or donate to, to, to cure leprosy or vitiligo, as they call it, um, which... I was just like, wow, you know, it seems like anything to get money. Um, and look, that's the curse of the Lord. You know, that's the curse of the Lord. Um, but, yeah, you know, so, but, but the point being is, um, like Apostle Elder Ryan Love said years ago, the truth is like a bowie in the water. You know, the more you bring it out, the more it's eventually going to surface back to the top. I saw a couple of scriptures like Luke 12 and 2 that tells us there's nothing um, hid that should not be made known. See? And... The, as much as they try to suppress this truth, um, paying people off, um, bribing um, different um, Israelite group leaders, which um, some of those um, Israelite group leaders have took in that purse. How do we know? The scripture says a gift destroyed the heart or the mind, right? So there's certain things that's supposed to be out there in the scriptures, all right, that they omit or they might, they might say, look, we'll give you 501c3 um, if you spit 90% truth, you know? And the moment um, you contaminate water or contaminate anything and it's off by 10%, it's, it's no longer truly 100% pure, you know, and that's what we're trying to keep this thing, we're trying to keep this uh, truth 100% pure, um, unadulterated, unfiltered, no um, bullshit added to it, you know, just the raw and, under, under, uh, raw and unadulterated truth, you know, that's what we strive for, because that's what the truth said, uh, that's what the, the scriptures say. But we know some of these guys have taken a purse, um, even though uh, you know, give Nate his credit in terms of the last couple of videos and stuff he's been on, like the Fearless podcast um, and these different other podcasts. He's bringing out, he's bringing out the truth, you know, um, and he's and he's been proving a lot of points by sticking to the basics of the scriptures, which you know the basics are a foundation. You know, it might be basic to us, but it's deep to people in the world that that never even consider some things like Jeremiah fourteen and two and Revelations, the first chapter. Um, 13 to 15 verse going into the description of our Lord Daniel 7 and 9 these types of things they never really 
um, give consider consideration to. But you know, Hosea four and six, the, uh, the fact that our people are destroyed, um, these basic scriptures that people never really know about, all they know is John three and sixteen. All right, it, it, it it's profound to them, you know. Um, so Nate has been doing his thing concerning, um, you know, bringing out the basics and, and, and shedding light on who we are and, and who our enemy is. But here's the thing: here's a bit one big omission. Um, Yahweh Shah, he's not a hundred percent. He's not a hundred percent in on Yahweh Shah, all right? Because he say Yahweh Shah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. You know, like you can say different things. Um, the true name of the Lord is Yahweh Shah. That's it. You know, there's no. I mean, look, you could say the English transliteration is Joshua. Or well, the Greek transliteration was Jesus, but his name is Yahweh Shai. There's no if, ands, or debates about it. And that's that's the whole thing about it. You know, First Corinthians one and ten is we have to be a hundred percent on the same page of one mind. Okay, so we can't a hundred percent be bought in on Yahweh Shai, but you you know, maybe it's Yeshua, maybe it's you know, Jesus and no, you know. So right there, um, unless he repents of that bullshit, um, and also, uh, the full sign-off on the mark of the beast, all right? That's that's very important, you know? That's that's the end. That's the hour of temptation. That's that's going to be the the, um, the biggest test to see if you're a member of the elect. And if you're not teaching our people that that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, um, if they take that, then they're not slated to make it pursuant to the book of Revelations, the 14th chapter, all right? Because you're going to get your part. Um, at that lake that burns with fire and brimstone, all right? You're going to get caught up in the nukes. So it's a very important part of the gospel to teach our people not to take that RFID microchip, right? If you um, circumvent that or downplay it or whatever, then, um, you know, then that should be red flags, like what's going on here, you know, especially as a man that's been um, known he's an Israelite for decades, you know, and um, brought up under the apostle Elder Tahar. So you should, you should consider... Um, or at least humble yourself and say, you know what, man? You know the Lord's been working with this man for a number of years. Let me, let me see. You know, you know. Don't, don't get me wrong. Nate's doing his thing too. He got his numbers and and um, when it comes, you know, them scriptures, the videos I saw when he was going into the basics. Yeah, it was on point. You know, he was getting down and you know he th he speaks very theatrical. Um, but I think that's a part of what drags people in too. So I mean, shit, if you. Whatever, you know, I'm, there's nothing against that. The primary urgency right now is just, you know, teaching our people, um, one, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, 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 Shah, all right, and that mark of the beast, you know. And, of course, the other prophecies he goes into, he's on point, all right. Um, but, you know, then you have the question, like, damn, how'd you get a billboard in the Bronx and they just let it fly? So, it's different things like that, okay. Um, but we know, look, if you're going to teach this truth, a hundred percent unadulterated. Guess what? You're gonna you're gonna be so-called censored or, or flagged or whatever. You know because the scriptures speak about offenses must come. This truth is highly offensive. You know, um, to the world. Okay, it's not offensive to us, but to the world. All right, which the majority of the people are gonna choose the world because the scriptures tell you broad is the way that leads to destruction. All right. But going back to the topic at hand, this suppressing. Um, "Quote unquote free speech or, 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 or suppressing um, people from expressing themselves, all right? It's only gonna be, um, it's gonna build up more and flow back in these devils' faces, leading into what? Um, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, when they're gonna, they're not gonna regard kings and princes or modern day versions of your mayors and your governors and shit. People, are, people are getting tired, man. They're getting tired of listening to these politicians and uh, following woke ideology. Now my kid, you know, my kids." Are, my kid was born a boy, but he decides to be a woman at two years old. I got to play along with it and change his sex and give him hormones. And people are getting, like, you know, it's getting out of hand, man. Try genders. And it's like, when will this should, should stop? And we're in New York. It's like a, a leftist, woke uh, state, you know. But not everybody here feels that way. But this is the beginning. Not the beginning. It's already started, all right? The downfall of the so-called white man when we have a nation completely divided, all right? A kingdom divided against itself can't stand. All right, and a main and a main reason people are, one of the main reason people are going against the establishment is because you're censoring every goddamn thing, man. You're censoring everything, okay? You know, and the things that you're not censoring, for example, Cardi B could put a video out half naked, or they could have gang violence all up in there talking about killing people and showing how they're gonna do it and rap about it. That that could fly, all right. But anytime you start shedding light on what the hell is really going on. 
or like this dude Kevin Samuels um, was trying to put together back black families. They killed his ass. They said, well, we can't outright cancel him. But he got a lot of these niggas waking up and a lot of these black women trying to get back feminine. Let's just take his ass out. See? So they're trying to have a one world government with a one world thought. And that thought, the government should be run by them and that thought should be their thought process. This is why the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, is going to take out the so-called white man in this pride, man. All right? And that's what we're waiting for. It's that for three and for the Lord to come back and do it. Because we can't do it. We can't set up a black Wall Street or start our own shit. And first of all, the scripture says, um, shall the throne of iniquity have uh, fellowship with thee? All right? We can't both sit on the same crowns and, and rule the world. All right? Because the so-called white man is running the world, Job 9 and 24. Right, so we can't sit up and say, okay, we're gonna start our own thing and start to run the world as Israelites. Um, it's not gonna work because he's also gonna be ruling. All right, Nick, you can't have two kings sitting on the throne. You see, every nation at one point or another um, had a majority of influence over the world. Right now, it's a so-called white man. You know, but pursuant to scriptures like um, pursuant to scriptures like um, Second Ezra um, six. Um, uh, seven to nine, all right, we know that um, the end, the end of the so-called white man's rulership is the beginning of our rulership, okay, and, well, let me say, Yahweh Shai's rulership for us being joined is in an everlasting kingdom, because we're not going to be doing wickedness, man, right, that's why kingdoms are translated from one place to another, as the scriptures tell you, from wickedness, and of, and this place as the scripture says, the vats are overflowing, man. All right, in terms of wickedness, this this thing is is ripe for destruction, man. Ripe for destruction. It's constantly defying the ways of the Lord. All right, it's constantly um, putting out new laws and decrees that are adverse to the scriptures. So it's ripe for destruction. And the whole Bashim Yashai will destroy this place, man. See? And that's what we're waiting for. That's what we're praying for. So you keep censoring these people. And I'll give you another thing too, man, in closing, which is why all the censoring is making people more pissed off and, 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 and going at the so-called establishment. It's let's say you, um, let's say a guy say a, a little subtle comment that somebody might find racist. Or, or this is what they'll do. They find something 20 years ago that you didn't say this is how you are now. They do shit like that to you, right? Let's say you fire this guy, say he's racist. Oh, like John, like John Gruden, right? Does that make you love so-called the opposite uh, or, or, or anybody race you offended or makes you even more pissed off all right you got a lot of people getting canceled and losing their livelihood for dumb shit that don't make them more uh less of what you try to uh, suppress them for that makes people just piss the hell off and people are pissed the hell off man okay and soon they shall revolt man okay Pinned against the corner, they're gonna start revolting, man. This is just one of the things that that are ticking people off, and and letting them getting ready, all right, to start going after um, the wealthy, going after the people in charge, just like they did in um, the Dark Knight. You know, hell, in, in New York right now, they saying that the people are spending in New York a million a month on on um, security, private security guards. You know, cause shit is about shit is kicking, shit is about to get a wall out here, man. If not already, you know, but I mean like even on a higher level. Okay? So with that I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Khakodash, the blonde of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone which rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect I tell you Akim to Zadakim that do the signal most truth and sincerity. Shalom.